we're going to be doing a space collage. And the cool thing about an outer space collage is that there's so many things in space that you can kind of do anything you want. You could add an alien, you can add planets, you could add comets, you could add, um, you can make it like a real, like a, a, a real space collage where you add in all the planets in our galaxy. You could do a totally imaginary galaxy. You could add in astronauts or rocket ships or shooting stars or suns. It's totally up to you. These are really open-ended. Some of the materials that I'm using, I'm gonna be using color pencils. If you have a white color pencil, if you're working on a dark, a dark piece of paper. Oh, um, Cameron, we're, we did cities on Tuesday. <laughs> we did our cities on Tuesday. That was like the imaginary cities we did. Yeah. So today we're just doing a space collage. But if you want to make a futuristic city floating in space, that would be awesome. So it's totally open ended. You can you can do that. Okay. Um, one material that I didn't add on the list, but if you happen to have it's kind of handy, is chalk. So uh, if you have like sidewalk chalk or chalk that you use on a chalkboard, if you happen to have it, you might want to go grab it because it's kind of awesome to, to put on your paper. But crayons work really well and basically any kind of materials. The last thing you're gonna need is paper. So different colors of paper to cut up if you wanna, so we're doing a collage today. And a collage is when you cut stuff up and glue it down. So you need different kinds of papers. I have my bin, this is my bin of papers. I have construction papers. I have some old, old magazines in here that, oh, I, I just pulled this out. I'm looking at the cover of this. I can already see, I could cut a really cool um, like shape out of this and that could be like a planet or something. So any kinds of magazines, I'm gonna set this one aside, I'll use that. Any kind of magazines, um, that you have wrapping paper, any kind of cool papers that you have to cut up is super handy. Okay. All right. Let's, I'm going to switch to my other camera. So we're going to get started. So one of the first things before, when, it, when you're working on a collage, you're working in layers because you're going to be gluing stuff down on top. So the first thing I want to do is if I want to add stars or if I want to add like galaxies or planets, or gal not galaxies, but galaxies are like nebulas, and maybe I wanna start with that. So maybe I just like start with, by adding some dots, cause I'm like, my, I want my collage to be full of stars, truly like outer space. So I'm just taking a white pencil, and I know it's a little hard to see, but I'm just adding lots of little dots. But like I said, these projects are, are totally up to you. So if you can choose to do it like mine, you could choose to do a totally different kind of space collage. But I'm, I'm working in layers. So I'm starting with the layer that's gonna be the farthest thing that's away. So the stars in the sky are the thing that is the farthest away. That's why I'm Here's starting a with them. Sure. Can you use paint to make the stars? Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. I didn't mention paint because I wasn't sure if everybody had it. But absolutely, if you have paint, then a really fun and easy way to, to make um, stars is actually to like do a little splattering, super, super easy splattering. What I usually do when I'm doing a space collage, if I had paint, is I would take a little of whatever color, white or yellow or green, whatever color I want my, my splatter to be, I put some on my brush and then I keep my, my, my brush close to my paper and I don't actually touch the bristle part to the paper. I keep it right above and I use two fingers and I just tap. And you'll get a really cool splattery effect that'll look like true stars. Because the, when you splatter, you get the, the stars can be really random looking as opposed to what I'm doing right now, which is just adding dots. It just can't be as random as, uh, as adding paint splatter. So if you have access to paint, then that's a great thing to use, absolutely. But as I was saying, the reason I'm starting with these stars is because the, the stars are the, the thing to be the thing that is the farthest away. And then I'm gonna work in layers coming closer and closer. So you might wanna go back and add in some different sizes of stars. Some of them I'm making like bigger than others. Some of them may be like closer together, like, 
Like there's like a whole little bunch of them right over here. Lee, in the comments, a uh, couple comments, um, someone yeah. doesn't have black paper and someone's asking if they can use white paper and markers only. Totally, absolutely, absolutely. You might have missed what I, when I started. So you use whatever color paper you have. So like I said, I'm gonna demo with black. If you have blue, that works. If you have white, totally use white. Make it, we'll make it work. Like you can, uh, like your, your, your space collage can just be a, a very bright space collage. It'll just, it'll just look a little brighter, which is totally fine. Yeah, you gotta use, so part of being an artist is um, being creative and that includes being creative with the materials you've got. <laughs> yeah, Megan, you're right. You could do dark blue or purple. Um, yeah, so you gotta, you, gotta be, uh, you gotta be creative with what materials you got. You gotta use what you have. Okay. Now I'm like totally just kind of working in, adding in lots of little stars. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and add some like little areas where there's lots of little stars. Ooh, gel pens, that's good. Oh my gosh. If you have gel pens, I wish I had gel pens. That's awesome. I was, I'm trying to keep mine simple because I didn't know what kinds of materials you guys had to work with. So I'm just demoing with the, some simple materials, but if you have fancier materials like gel pens or even like silver Sharpies or like cool, cool thing, like materials to work with, use those. I'm gonna make your, your project even cooler looking. All right, so I've done, and I like, I like going back in and making some of these stars bigger. Maybe I can even go back in and use like a yellow. So I did white, but as you guys know, if you've ever looked up at the nighttime sky, sometimes the colors of different stars are different colors. So some stars shine like a little yellowier. Ooh, the yellow doesn't show up very well. Some, some might show up like a little more orangey, like um, Mars is like kind of reddish tinted in our sky. So you can go back, you can add some other colors. Ooh, if you have chalk, awesome. I'm so glad somebody mentioned chalk. So if you have chalk, I'll, I'm gonna show you how you can use chalk to add in like, like a little nebula. Like for instance, I'm gonna add in like a little galaxy. So I'm just, this is, this is like, I think this is just like the kind of chalk that you use on a regular chalkboard but you could use sidewalk chalk if you have that. Um, so I'm just gonna do, add like a little bit of a, an oval over here. And then I'm just using my finger. And I'm gonna like blend it out like this. So it's like a little, it's like a space cloud. Another little space clouds. And then maybe I wanna take a, another color. I like this, uh, this dark blue color, maybe like space cloud extends out over here. So I'm just using my finger and I'm blending the colors. The cool thing about this too, is that I'm pretty sure I can take a colored pencil and I can work on top of the chalk. So maybe inside of this, yeah, there's like a spiral. It's like a, a cool like spiral thing happening. Yeah, it's like a, totally like a little nebula that's happening over there. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do a couple more of those in different colors. Maybe I, maybe I'll do a purple, a purple like cloud over here. Colorful space clouds. So maybe like each of these clouds is like a little galaxy. Oh, I have a pink. Maybe I'll do a pink one. If you don't have chalk, um, you could you could try to you can do little nebulas and little shapes using um, colored pencil or using crayons using um, color pencil. I can show you. I'll do another one with color pencil. So here's like a. 
another cloud over here. Um, let's see. What if I did let's try this green? Maybe I have one that's like over here that's going off the page. So I'm just using color pencil. And the thing with color pencil is that the harder you press, the darker the color will get. And then as I work my way to the edges of this nebula, I'm just gonna start coloring in a little lighter to make it look like it's blending out. It's easier with chalk because you can just use your finger and smudge it. But with color pencil, you can make it work just by, by using the value or how hard or how dark, or how hard or how light you press down will change how light or how dark the pencil is on the paper. So I'm just gonna add in this green nebula and I'm, I'm pressing down so it's maybe a little darker in the middle. Oh, maybe I wanna layer some colors on there. I like that blue, I'll take a light blue, and layer it on top. Cameron is asking, what if I use a black crayon and, and put a layer over it? Ooh, good idea. See what happens. I love the experimenting. You guys gotta experiment and see what'll work. If you have an extra sheet of paper, whatever color you're working on, actually before class started, that's exactly what I did. I took, I took a piece of paper and I just experimented a little bit to see what would work. So that's, that's a great idea. Just see, see, what, see what happens. Oh, I like this blue. I'm just layering some colors onto it. Awesome. Ooh. I love these. I'm going to add a couple more. So, and the thing is, is that the next step is to start layering on paper. So to start maybe layering on planets, if you want to do like a rocket ship, if you want to add in any aliens or space people, you can add those in. Um, but so some of these shapes that you're coloring and making right now, they might, um, they might get covered up. You never know. Like, but that's kind of the beauty of working in layers. So we're starting from the, the farthest back and we're working up and up and up and up and up to what is the closest to us. Add a little bit of pink on this edge over here. Blend it in. Sometimes um, if you're using a messy material, one thing I like to keep by my, by my side is like a wipe. So I can just kind of wipe my finger off. You can see all the, all the color that's coming off my uh, fingers to kind of clean my fingers in between. Ooh, I have some orange, maybe I'll do an orange nebula. I'll just do one right here, orange nebula. Are like space clouds. Like clouds, they're like clouds of gases in outer space, like gases that are being put out by stars that are thousands and thousands of years old. Ooh. I wonder if now I can work in layers, I can go on top of that orange that I just made with some green. Let's see what'll happen. Ooh, kind of like that. Add some color over here. Nice, all right, cool, all right. So the next step is to find some papers. So I have some orange, bright orangey colored paper. And so it's totally up to you. If you want to find things that are circular and, tr and trace so that you have make a perfect circle, you can do that. If you feel confident just freehand cutting out some circles, you can do that. It totally is dependent upon how you like to work and how confident you feel um, about drawing and cutting out circles. Um, I'm just gonna freehand cut some circles, but if you have something that is round, that is around you that you would like to trace, then by all means use that. So I'm just gonna cut out some planets over here. And I have a feeling I want my mind to be like full of planets. So I'm going to cut lots of planets of different colors. Maybe some planets are going to have rings around them. 
This is, I'm definitely not doing the Milky Way, which is our galaxy. My galaxy is, the galaxy I'm doing is definitely gonna be somewhere, <laughs> somewhere else, somewhere else in outer space. So well, I'm just looking through my papers and finding some colors I like. I like this bright yellow color. And I'm gonna do some planets of different sizes. So they're not all the same size. So some are gonna be bigger than others. Maybe I'll even have some super, super tiny ones. Maybe the tiny ones are moons that are like orbiting other planets. Megan's asking what, what would you name your galaxy? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to think about that. I don't know. Uh, give me, give me, a, give me a little time. I'll think about that. That's a great question. Ooh, I like this. I cut this out earlier. This was just a. I just took a piece of paper and I cut a big arch. And maybe this is like the planet that is closest to us. So maybe I'll like. Well, I'll put, probably put something on this planet. Maybe like, I'll put like a, like, I don't know, maybe I'll make like a, a telescope that's looking out into space on this one. I don't know, I'll figure that out. Um, when you want to do a ring around a planet, so take out, I'll show you how to do, how I would do that. I would take a pencil and I had already have the, the circle cut out for my planet then all I do is I'm going to draw here and here. Actually, actually, I'll just probably, I'll just trace this. Or I'll just trace it real quick because that way I know how big it is. So now I have, I know what size it is. Now I can draw the ring in. So maybe my ring looks like this. So now that I have that drawn in, I can take my scissors and I can cut out where the ring would be. So I just cut around the line that I drew for the two rings. So around like this. And then I'm gonna cut down like this. So I'm just cutting out the ring I drew. I have to cut in and cut out these little like notches so that it'll look like it's really going around the planet. Like that. And cut this one out like this. Oh, you know what? I just had a thought. I probably named my galaxy after my dog. My dog's name is Gazer, like G-A-Z-E-R, like Stargazer. So maybe it's the Gazer Galaxy. I like that name. All right. So, all right, now that I've cut it out, I can see how like I can fit it on here and it'll, it works. I'm actually gonna flip it over because I can see the pencil marks where I traced it and drew it. So I'm just gonna flip it over and use the other side now it's like a perfect fit because I drew it on top of the, the, the shape, like that. <laughs> I love it, cool. Geezer galaxy. Anybody else know what kind of galaxy they're making? Or what kind of, can we do designs on your plans? Oh, absolutely, Megan, totally. You totally should do designs. Like if you can see, um, if you can see different, um, uh, like continents or things on your planet, totally. So earlier I found, I, it was, I pulled out this and I just liked this pattern. So maybe I'm gonna cut like a planet out of this. This will be like my Earth-like planet. One cool thing that it's really fun to use for projects like this is if you happen to have paper scraps that you've painted. If you have paint at home and you've ever done a project and you have paper that is left over from that, um, like in with that have that you painted on, like painted paper is great. It's like they make great um, scraps for projects like this. Ooh, look at this crazy planet. 
I like it. So I see I have some plants that are similar size. So I'm going to go in and add some planets that are smaller, I think. I'm going to find some other colors in here. Adriana is asking, how do you draw the ring? How do you draw the ring? Sure, I'll show you again. So, um, okay. So say, okay, let's say I wanted, I'll do it on this little planet. Actually, no, I'll do a bigger one. Is it feeling here? Yes, okay. So say I wanted to make a planet, a ring for this planet. All I do is I trace the planet that I want to do a ring on. And now to make a ring around your planet, I'll draw it in with Sharpie so you can see it really nice and dark. You start kind of somewhere near the top part and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a kind of a curve shape that goes down and around like that. See how I curved it, I curved it around. So it's almost, if I turn it this way, it's like a very tall, thin letter C just like that. Then if I want, I want it to be a 3D, I want it to be a 3D ring. So I'm gonna do another ring, but this time I'm gonna go inside and the inside. So watch, I do a smaller C. I'm going all the way over and I do a smaller C, just like that. Okay, then that whole shape, that letter C that you just did, that like almost bubble letter C, that's what you're gonna cut out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll cut this one out for my other one. Like this. Oh no. I'm sorry, Cameron. It it was it's listed on the um the only material that wasn't listed was the chalk. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Cameron. Yeah, today was collage. Today, today is is all about like cutting papers up. So you gotta kind of have a look on the on the web um, on the website. Tomorrow is a, a artist's choice. So we're going to be yeah, I know. A chalk chalk was like the one material I didn't list. And you, but you don't have to use chalk. You can use. Um, you can always use uh, color pencils. So color pencils, so if I do one right here, color pencils work just as well, especially if you have a piece of dark paper to work on. Um, tomorrow is a, an artist's, uh, artist's choice. So it's, we're making our own aliens. So you can make an alien like Marvin, or you can make your own kind of alien. I'll probably do, be doing my own alien because we already drew Marvin uh, on Monday. So, and in when I mean artist choice of materials, if you want to paint an alien, you could paint an alien. If you want to draw an alien with drawing materials, you can draw one. If you have clay and you want to make an alien out of clay, you could do that. If you have um, like recycled materials like boxes and um, any kind of material, like just recycled materials, you can, you can use those to help you make an alien. So, so tomorrow is just gonna be kind of like a creative free for all. So you can use any kind of material that you have. So yeah, part of, part of being an artist, especially a work from home artist, is you, we gotta be creative with the materials we have. So if you don't have something, see if you have something else that might work. If you don't have black paper, try blue. If you don't have uh, um, uh, chalk, try color pencils. If you don't have paint, Try using markers and water. See, see, what, see what works. You got to experiment. Okay. All right. So I think I need some smaller planets. So I'm going to cut some tiny ones out. If you have your drawing of Marvin and you want to collage it to your picture, I remember, I think, Soren, yesterday or Tuesday, you made a... Um, you, you made a city and you added your Marvin to it. So you can always use things that you have from other, from other projects that you've done. Let's see here. Okay. 
I'm just cutting in some different sizes. I'd love to see anybody's pro works in progress. I know that it might be hard because you can't hold it up right now because nothing's glued down. But if you have anything that you want to share with me, anything you've cut out or made, you want to hold it up, I'd love to see. Huh. All right. You don't have very many colors. Um, hmm. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, Cameron, maybe you could, you could always do it on a, a white piece of paper, or if you want to just draw in um, a, like a, 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 a picture of like an alien, you don't, it doesn't have to be outer space. It's totally up to you, Cameron. All right, I think that I need something on this planet. Ooh, I know what I might do. I'm gonna take some color pencils and add in some craters so that this planet has some craters that are on it. You could add in, if you want to add in a rocket ship, you could do a rocket ships. You could do any kind of anything in this picture. I'm just gonna do some circles, making some, making some craters in this, in this planet because this one's the one that's the closest to us so we can see it the best. Remember, we're working in layers. We're starting with the layer that's the farthest back and we're working forward. Okay, there's a couple craters. Maybe I'll do another one over here. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard about Commander Scott Kelly. Scott R. Scott Commander Scott R. Kelly. It was really cool. So a couple of years ago, Commander Scott Kelly, he's an astronaut, and he went up into outer space and he lived on the um, ISS, the International Space Station, and he was doing an experiment. And basically, they wanted to see NASA wanted to see um, what happens to the human body if you're in space for a year. And nobody, or at least no, no, nobody from the United States had ever been in uh, space for a full year. And they picked Commander Scott Kelly to be the person in outer space because he had a twin brother back on Earth. And when you're doing a, a, an experiment like that, it's cool to have a control so you can see, well, okay, if Commander Scott Kelly spent the year in space, how did that affect his body versus his brother who didn't spend the year in space. So they could kind of compare. Um, his brother was also an astronaut and also like worked for NASA. They're twin brothers. But one of the best things about Commander Scott Kelly, so he spent a, he was the first astronaut from the United States to ever spend a year in space. And the really cool thing about him is that when he was up there, uh, he, uh, he, he got really interested in photography. I'm getting there, Megan. He got really interested in photography. And he would take all these photos from um, outer space of the Earth. And his photos were amazing. If, you ever, if you're ever curious, Commander Scott Kelly, you can find his Instagram, you can see his pictures. And when he came back, the, Megan, they, they did the test and they, they found, they were just, uh, I'd have to go back and look at the research, but I think that, um, uh, I think that like they found that space affects your, I know it affects your eyes because you, you know, when you're in a, your eyes are basically these spheres in your head <laughs> and, and we were, our bodies have evolved to live in a place where there's gravity. And so it's when you go up to outer space, there's no gravity. So you have like your, I know something happens where like your eyesight can be affected. So I think that might've been one effect. I'd have to go back and look at the research to see what some of the other effects were, Megan. But uh, yeah, there were, like space does affect your body in some ways. But they wanted to find out because um, eventually, I know that SpaceX and NASA would like to go to Mars, but to go to Mars, it takes a really, really long, uh, it's a really, really, really long trip. So you have to see like what, what kind of effects they, the, the space would have on your body. Cameron, I didn't, oh, the three girls, that's awesome. I have to look up, like, I don't know about the story about the three girls that went to space, but that's amazing. So I know that not, I think, oh, I think I did hear about that. That was the time when on the International Space Station, it was all women, which is awesome. Yeah, that's so cool. 
Thanks for sharing that, Cameron. Um, <laughs> Adriana, it makes you younger to go into space. <laughs> yeah, it might. I think it does. It does uh, stretch your spine out because it, when we're walking on Earth, our bodies are being constantly pressed down by gravity. So when you go up into a place where there's no gravity, aka outer space or space, um, all of that pressure is relieved. So yeah, it totally. I think it changes. It changes how your uh, how you like how you how your posture. I think that's totally right. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over to Soren. Yeah, Soren. So I just think I'm fi almost finished, Ryan. So this is oh. a planet of fire. It's 10 million times harder than the sun. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is the ultimate heat. The down part is the ultimate heat part. Where it's is the hot part. And then the orange heat part is the lowest heat part. Whoa. Is, is it And the explode? only water on this planet are these green bits. They're just small <laughs> rivers on the planet. Okay. All right. And then the cool. rivers... So the rivers are this way. So when they go this way and they infinitely just keep falling down and down and down into the space until uh -huh. they basically land into the endless earth. Oh my gosh. Wait, so wait, you're, is, you're, is this galaxy? Is this planet basically? Is this Milky Way or is this a different galaxy, Soren? Uh, this is the galaxy. Uh, let me think. What is the Galaxy Ferrari 250 GT. Okay. GT, because okay. I just drew that Ferrari up here in black marker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe if it's, a, if it's a Ferrari, Ferrari Galaxy, you need to add. Part of that, this place. Soren, maybe you need to add in like a Ferrari then, if it's the Ferrari Galaxy. I was thinking I might add in like some sort of Wait, alien, I'm not done. alien plant that, that grows on this planet. It's like got tentacles that's reaching reaching out to the uh, reaching out to the sky. Adriana would like to share. Wait, I'm yeah. not done. Then there is like the Ferrari Soren, 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 we'll come, Soren, we'll come back to you in a few minutes if you add anything else. But, ooh, wow, Adriana, that's beautiful. That looks awesome. Really cool work. Really cool work. I love that. Nice job. Thanks. I, yeah. So I'm just kind of experimenting here. What if I put like a weird, a weird creature? Esme's galaxy is called Bob. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Um, so another cool thing that happened in outer space was, um, so SpaceX has been doing as a company and it started by the same person who, who makes Tesla cars. He has been doing some cool things with rockets. He's been building all these really cool rockets that you might have seen that have been able to go up into outer space and then come back and land, which rockets were never, had never been able to do that before because um, uh, we just didn't know how to make rockets like that yet. So he's been doing these really cool rockets and on one of his rockets, because he's kind of an eccentric, weird dude, he decided to put a, a, one of his cars, one of his Teslas, up into outer space. And so they sent, they sent a, 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 a Tesla up into outer space. And on that Tesla, it's riding inside of that Tesla was a, 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 like, a, 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 like a little um, mannequin of a guy. <laughs> they call him uh, Spaceman. And so a spaceman is now driving around in his Tesla in outer space forever. He's up there somewhere. We don't know where. He's floating off. But Sophia would I like thought to that know, would... uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, go ahead, Scott. Sophia would like to know if we could start gluing. Oh, absolutely. Yes, if you're ready to start gluing, start doing it. Yeah, I'm a uh, good, good question. I think I'm... Uh, I'm just adding a couple more details and then I'm, I'm going to start gluing too. Do you think that's the waste of a car? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Elon, Elon Musk has a lot of money, so I'm assuming that he has some money to spare. 
<laughs> I guess it was his car. One of his yeah, cars. He had many. His personal car. It was? Yeah. <laughs> it was cool looking, though. And I think, didn't the car play um, uh, the David Bowie song? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was really neat looking. So I'm adding in some eyes. I'm going to add in some black dots. These are going to be three eyes on this, this like alien creature that is looking up in outer space on my planet. I love things like that. It was, it was really cool when you, when you saw it happen. And it's even cooler when you see these rockets be able to return to Earth and land because that's a true feat of engineering and mathematics and science. We've never been able to do that before. It was a road. Uh, yeah, I think it was a roadster. I think it, I think, I think it was. Yeah. It is crazy what humans can do. Well, Wait, if the Tesla was a roadster, it, it might have been one of the most powerful supercars or maybe most expensive because I've watched <laughs> The videos of the most powerful supercars are most expensive, but I think that's the Roadster's actually the most powerful. Well, electric cars are pretty powerful because they they have these these some some of the Teslas have these really strong engines and they can get up to speeds faster than a car than most cars um, can with gasoline. Also, electric is just better for the environment, so we don't we shouldn't be dependent upon gasoline. All right. What do you remember? What kind of car it was, Scott? Do you know if it was a Roadster or an S? Yeah, it was one of the earlier Teslas. The the Roadster. That would have been the Roadster then. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm just adding in some eyes. <laughs> this is my little alien dude, and I think I'm ready to start gluing everything down. All right. Cool. So this is why we work in layers. So now that you've got everything placed, you gotta like carefully pick everything up and put. So I just use, I'm using regular Elmer's, Elmer's glue, but if you have like glue stick or, um, or uh, any kind of, any kind of uh, rubber glue or any kind of glue, you, just, you don't need a lot, you just need a couple dots. Oh yeah, they're making another Roadster, Cameron. I know that the next Tesla to come out is gonna be the Y, which is gonna be a, um, uh, a um, an SUV. It's gonna be an SUV. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that the Roadster was one of a very cool one. Let's see. Let's run over here. One of the cool things that I like about all of the astronauts that go up into the, the International Space Station is that when they come back to Earth, because they have this unique perspective, they're, be, they're like able to see the Earth all the way from, you know, from above, which not like pretty much nobody gets to do in the, in, in the world. Um, well, that's cool, Cameron. You're doing rocket science. That's a cool thing to study. Um, but when they, when the, these astronauts come back down to Earth, they almost come. They almost always come back down as environmentalists. They come back and they want to like protect the Earth because they've seen how rare and precious our Earth is, and like how we should be taking steps to like, you know, limit global warming and stuff because they because they all. Uh, they all, they all have, have they've stood, they've stood above, above the earth and looked down and they all have like strong feelings about, about how awesome the earth is because it's unlike any other planet and we have to take care of it. I don't know. I've always loved that about, <laughs> about, about the astronauts that go. But if you've ever, like I said, Captain Scott Kelly, R. Scott Kelly, he took these really cool pictures of the earth from above. Yeah, I think he might have like 
maybe I'm wondering if you publish them into a book. I would if I were him. They were really cool. Oops, not the blue on that one. Does anybody here want to be an astronaut? You're making a whoa, that's really cool, Cameron. You're making a warning light for rocketry. That's really neat. My husband used to build like, uh, like little Estes rockets. No, you don't want to be a, you want, do you want to be like an engineer or something, Cameron? You, you, you used to want to be a, 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 an astronaut, Megan? It's kind of a, it's a cool, it's a cool career path. What do you guys want to be? Does anybody know some of the things they're interested in? Crashes and better trackers. That's That's really cool. Gonna slide this off. Megan says she used to, but she saw what they do in training and it's bad for motion sickness. <laughs> I true. Agree. This is true. Yeah. Uh, agreed. Yes, it is. Um, they, especially if you want to go to outer space, you gotta like, you have to be prepared for a lot of turbulence. <laughs> we have a couple hands up. Yeah. Sure. Do you guys want to share? Absolutely. Um, put your hand up if you'd like to share. Let's see. We'll go to Soren and then Lily. Okay. Cool. Let's see, Soren. So, well, I so I decided Scott's just floating around in space. So <laughs> somehow got into my galaxy. So somehow we got Gosh. into my universe. <laughs> I. I think from Earth, he just discovered this teleporting machine, and then he was just about to walk away when he got teleported into my universe for some reason. Without Scott doesn't want to go to the future. That's that's, that's, that's so he cool. didn't want to go to the future, but so <laughs> he didn't, like he just walked away from it. But somehow, I think the person who made it accidentally made it somehow that it the person. So I think it suddenly glitched. Glitch okay. didn't Scott teleport here because he didn't step in it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Scott, you're a star man. <laughs> That's very cool, Soren. <laughs> awesome. Well, Let's see, Lily. Really? <laughs> okay. So I don't think I'm done. Okay. But this is mine. Ooh, nice. Don't hold it up too long because I, I think it's going to drip. <laughs> but that looks awesome. Thanks. And then that looks I tried making my ring, but I couldn't do it. So I used. Oh, okay. Wait, so what did you use? Puff paint. Oh, that's super smart. Super smart. That's awesome. Thanks. Good use. I love it. Awesome job, Lily. Um, There's Laura. Yeah, let's see, Laura. Wow. Laura, did you use paint to get those stars? Yep. Yeah, paint, paint works the best for stars. I love it. That, and I love that rainbow planet. That's awesome. This is, these are so cool. What a rad um, space collage. That's really neat. Very cool. You gonna add anything else to it, or you think you're done? You gonna add any anything I'm floating done. around? You're done. Okay. No satellites. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. No rockets. Cool. That's really really awesome work. Hey, Adriana. Let's see. Ooh! All those happy planets. They're so happy. <laughs> I love their little faces. That's awesome. And your, your little like space clouds, your nebulas look really, really good. Very Thank nice. You. Yeah, those came out great. Good work. Is there anybody else who uh, would like to share? Sophia? Sophia, Sophia wants to share? Let's see, Sophia. So here's my... Ooh. Yeah, I like so far. I like the rays coming off that star. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Surprisingly, this worked out just fine on paper. Awesome! Yeah, the white pencil totally works. 
That's what I used for mine too. Yeah, that, they totally work. And you're, you got a nice cool pattern of stars on the background. That looks awesome. You could try, um, try with a color pencil and you can, you can use it to make a nebula like, like, uh, like this one that I did. This was just a blue color pencil on my paper. So you can make like a space cloud using color pencils if you want. Really cool, Sophia. Thanks for sharing. All right, somebody else would like to share. Here's Esme. Esme, let's see yours. Wait, you gotta turn off your filter before we can see. Uh, okay, there she is. I see her now. Okay. Let's see, Esme. The filter's going all weird, so I have to do something real quick. Okay, we'll come back to you, all right? I have to find the f right filter. Okay. Um, Julie wants to know, or Judy wants to know how I did this, the, like the nebulas, the space clouds. So I did them in two different ways. If you only have color pencil, then all I did was take my color pencil, I'll do one over here, and I just, I told, the, I told everybody how you can change the pressure of your pencil. So, so I started off with like darker, oh, can you see that? Kind of, oh, you know what, I'll do a, I'll do one that's a brighter color. I'll do a, I'll do another blue one. So you start off just with color pencil and you do it like a little bit darker in the middle. And then as you fade to the outside, you change the pressure of your pencil so that you're going a little lighter towards the outside to make it look like it's blending out. So that's how I did some of the nebulas. I also showed um, everybody how to do one, a space cloud or a nebula with um, chalk. So if you have sidewalk chalk or um, any kind of chalk, that's an even easier way to do a nebula. So maybe I'll do one, I'll do one down over here in this corner. So um, I just took some chalk and this comes out super bright. I take my finger and I just kind of blend it in. It makes a little, a nice little like cloud happening over here. And you could add other colors onto it. You can layer, but there's a couple of different ways to do it. Like this one, maybe I want to go back in. I can take other colors and like, yeah, change it up. Maybe I'll, maybe this, this, this nebula is turning from blue to yellow. That actually looks kind of cool because I don't know if it's coming out in camera, but where are they, where I'm mixing the two, you know what happens to blue and yellow is that they make green. So this nebula has now changed colors from blue to green to yellow. It's a little hard to see on the camera. Oh wait, here, maybe if I, oh, there you go. Oh, that's the light. better. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it like this. See how, see how the colors changed? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I, I just used, and that's all just using color pencil on black paper. All right. Anybody else? Esme, you're going to add a hat to a plant. I love it. <laughs> um, Esme, as soon as you turn your filter off, we'll go back to you to share. If you've got it ready. Um, oh, you're welcome, Judy. No problem. Oh no, <laughs> that's cool, Cameron. Sorry, I was reading Cameron's comment about his rocket. That's really neat. All right, Esme, it looks like you're ready. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Cameron, that you lost your rocket, but that's kind of cool that it works so well. Um, yes. Let's see. Ooh, that came out cool. Nice plant. I like all the. Were you cutting those little planets out of um, of uh, like mag magazine paper? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like those because. Cause you get like a cool, a cool texture. That looks awesome. That looks really cool. Thanks for sharing Esme. Thank you. Okay. Is there anybody else who would like to share? It was in 2017. Well, that was three years ago now. I bet you could build an even cooler one. Problem with rockets is finding a place to launch them. <laughs> it's hard to find a good, a good location. Unless you live near the desert. Ooh, I see somebody. Um, is there somebody else who wants to share? Oh. Just raise your hand if you'd like to share. We have about uh, three or four more minutes to go. Oh, you're on a team. That's oh, that's neat. That's cool, Cameron. Adrian, I want to see your hat that you added to the plant. 
Ooh, what does a, a hat on a plant look like? I guess I could give like one of these little like eye guys like a, a hat. That would be kind of crazy. So you guys got to start thinking about what materials you're going to use tomorrow to make your alien. So it could be collage like you did today if you have paper. Oh, I see that Adriana wants to share their hat. <laughs> oh, that's cute. He has a little hat. <laughs> they both have hats. Oh, very super cute. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Snow Ranch. I'll have to search that. Oh, Kaden. Kaden, are you ready to share? Let's see. Wow. Let's see, Kaden. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. Did you do a satellite? Oh, that's awesome. Wait, I know. Let's try it. Yeah, it goes that way. So you have you have a saddle. I see your satellite, and then what's the other what's the other thing that's floating around? Is that um, a part of a the International Space Station? I see I see that there's solar uh, panels. Uh, Tell me. International Space Station. Well, this is the Hubble telescope, I think. And Hubble. This, yeah. Wait, what? I think this is Voyager two, or maybe. That's so cool. I didn't even talk about adding in like. Um, satellites and um, and rovers. That's so neat. I love it. That's so cool. Thanks for sharing, Cameron. I love it. I love how you were able to do all of that with color pencil. That's and really, really yeah, neat. I have one more. Oh, yeah. Let's see, Cameron. Uh, or sorry, Caden. Sorry, Caden. Sorry. I'm getting confused. Sorry, Caden. Whoa. Oh, that's cool because you you colored it in black with a mark with a color with a crayon first. Yeah. Nice, nice being creative with the use of materials. And this is <laughs> another galaxy than this. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so two totally different galaxies. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Kaden. That's yep. very cool. Very very cool. Um, is there anybody else? While we're waiting for anybody else to share, just put your hand up if you want. Gina would like to share. Yeah, let's see. Hey, Gina. Ooh. Oh, I like the, um, the, the, the clouds that are going across your page. That's pretty. That's awesome. What did you end up using? Color pencil? Um, um, these are gel pens. Oh, the gel pens, yeah. Gel pens. Okay. Oh, yeah, when you, when, you get the, when you get it up close, you can see the shimmer that they make. Very nice. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you froze. But that looks really, really nice. Beautiful work. Um, I think that... Uh, Vienna and Victoria? Yes, Vienna Victoria. Let's see, girls. Let's see your space collages. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Is that a rain all the rainbow planets in rainbow order, too? And the shooting star. Oh my gosh. And you guys got so creative. You added a um is that like a um, an asteroid field? <laughs> It's all the meteors tin foil. <laughs> oh, and the tin foil. Oh my gosh. You guys, I need to like start like asking you what materials you think we should add to our list because you guys have some really creative ideas. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. it. Oh, so beautiful. Look at those. Wow, look at that rocket ship going up. It's so neat. What beautiful work, girls. Oh, I I'm so impressed. I'm so, so impressed. Those are so, so neat. <laughs> Thanks for Thanks, sharing. <laughs> I'm gonna, for next, next time I teach this, I'm gonna add tinfoil to my list. <laughs> Super smart. Um, hey girls, let's see. Ooh. 
Oh, that's so cool. And you guys use like tinfoil or a spark. Oh, it's just like sparkly wrapping paper too. That's awesome. Hold, hold it up a little so higher so I can see the bottom. Oh, what is that on the bottom? Uh, there's a little. Oh, it's like another little there's planet. A... Yeah. So cool. I like that paper that you're using. Very, very nice. Let's see. Ooh, that's an awesome ring that you've done. <laughs> Wait, is that a little face? It looks like the head of a turtle or something coming out. Is that, what is it? Is it an alien? Yeah. <laughs> it totally looks like the head of a turtle and you just don't see his shell. He's, he's really cute. <laughs> I like his little expression. I also like that you girls use magazines and you got, you got, um, you got wacky with like all like the materials. Some of them are, I see construction paper, I see um, wrapping paper, I see new magazines. Those are awesome. Cool use of materials. Nice, nice job. <laughs> Here's Soren. Soren, let's see. Well, mine, I decided the sky is falling. Space oh, no, is no. falling. And so, uh, so then down here, all the way down here, Marvin's like trying to make a campfire and he's floating around. So he's out <laughs> of the paper so he can't see. And he's like, and he didn't bring any matches, but he did bring his spoon and he tried to light up a fire with a spoon and then he went, this is a spoon! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that you <laughs> added, <laughs> added Marvin. <laughs> that means, it was like, I forgot to bring matches. Oh no. <laughs> cool. Very creative, Soren. Thanks for sharing. Um, it is after 11. So last call for anybody who would like to share who hasn't had a chance to share yet. Oh, um, okay. Lily and then Sophia. I know you girls have shared, but go ahead, Lily. Um, So I added a couple more planets, but they're not like circles. That's okay. Little things. <laughs> Very clever. I like the, what's the green thing that's shooting up? Is that like a... It's some sort of like meteor or something? Yeah, that, that's what I thought it was. It looks like a meteor like like shooting I through the... I did like a silver ring around that one. <laughs> nice. Nice job. Very, very cool picture. Very cool. Yeah, comet. Yeah, Esme thinks it's a comet. It's a comet. <laughs> um, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Oh, I like it. Nice. Uh, beautiful. The silver with the silver ch sharpie. Oh, uh, the smart. Really the smart. Smart use of silver sharpie. Silver sharpie works really well for the stars, too. And for the cool. sun, I might do a little bit of tanning with this. So. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, you could do, you know how suns have like sunspots? You could do a sunspot. Cool. Thanks for sharing, guys. All right. So, like I said, tomorrow is uh, an artist's choice of materials. So, any material that you want to make an alien out of. And an alien is like really open ended. You could do any kind of alien. An alien can look like anything. So, think about what materials you're going to want to bring. Um, and I can't wait to see you all. I can't wait to see like what you guys come up with. Awesome job with your collages today. Um, I hope I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye